using layers in Clip Studio Paint, how to organize them, and what do all those settings do? Once you open up a new document in the illustration, so if we go up here to new, we're talking over here, illustration, we've got our size. This is just standard comic book size right here for US. And you'll have paper and just a normal layer. It says normal. Uh, paper, if you double click on it, you can change what um, the background that you're drawing on top of is. So we'll keep it white for right now. And we're gonna go up here, okay. So let's say, to keep this simple, any particular area that you color, you will have a flat color and you'll do that on a normal layer. So let's start with a, maybe a blue right there. We're gonna fill up this entire thing. And let's just say for whatever we are coloring is, it doesn't really matter what color it is, it's gonna behave the same as we add layers. So once you've done the flat layers, you are going to want to add layers right here on top. And we'll just go through and I will show you what the, some of the different settings and the, the most uh, settings that I use for anything that I do, if you see any of my stuff, um, you can get 99% of all the effects you want this way. So I usually start with a multiply layer. Now multiply is what your shadows will be. Multiply makes things darker. So not even changing the color, I'm using the exact same color. Let me grab a brush that is not here, here we go. If I draw on top of this, you'll see it makes that darker. That's all it does. We've got a multiply where I would do my shadows here. Now, typically what I would do is grab a different color, um, maybe some purples, uh, some browns. You see that it's really dark. If I use a lighter color, it'll still make it a little bit darker. So you just play around with the different types of colors that you want. But multiply is what you would do your shadows on typically. If I add a new layer on top of that and switch it to screen, that's gonna make things lighter. So let me get my eyedropper tool here and just go back to the same color I have in the background, but draw on top of it on a screen layer. It suddenly makes it lighter. Of course, if I do orange, you'll have more of an orange to come across pink because it's combining, uh, it, it's drawing on top of this layer. So what color is underneath matters for how it kind of appears. But this is something you can play around with um, and just figure out what you like. So multiply is shadows, screen is highlight. Now if I wanna get some effects, I could do uh, glow dodge or add, I'm sorry, add glow. So if I add one on, let's say I have like a orange light, right? This, this is really good for doing effects like lighting effects. Um, you'll really see it in say an airbrush, like, let's see, that seems like light, that glow, dot, glow layer does. You can see all these different things here. There's a lot you can do. Uh, glow dodge kind of does the same thing, not as intense. So we'll go through and switch it, and you'll be able to see lighten. It's lightened it, but it's given that, that pink. Um, and to really learn, you, you'll you have to experiment, but this should give you some um, a starting point for how to color things. Soft light, again, it's the same color, it's just softer. Pin light makes it kind of orange. So another trick too is after I've, uh, sometimes after I color things, if I want to say, give the whole thing a wash of something, kind of unify it, I can do hue and uh, select like say maybe a pink or something. It's not gonna look great here on this particular um, drawing. But, but if I wanted to take that down, see I can take the opacity down on these layers. And if this was a if this were a real drawing, it would you kind of unify that and give the whole thing a, a hue. Um, it's just some options. Now, let me um, undo a little bit of that. Go back a little bit. Let's go back to where we had our add glow. I really like that. The ones I use the most are multiply screen, add glow, hue, um, and any of these others. Uh, linear burn makes things darker. Um, I don't use all that much. Now, as far as organizing your layers. Um, if I use if if I use a lot of layers and I need to start organizing things, you make a folder there, double click on it, you can name it, new colors, and then let's say let's select, grab everything I've done, drag it in there, and I can kind of start organizing in all at once, uh, deselecting uh, or uh, hiding 
things start getting complicated. Now, in an ideal world, you would go through and you would have all of your different layers. Uh, you, you'd be using a few layers as possible. And every one of them would be like, every time I made a layer, I would say highlight, blah, 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 shadows. Yeah, that never happens. What usually happens is, and I will open up a drawing here. Let's do, uh, yeah, so you see I've got all these layers here. This one actually is not so bad, but sometimes I can get twice as many layers and I've put all my sketching stuff in here. Like the sketches, uh, after I've drawn it, I'll dump it into a folder. And just to save it, just in case, I'll just click the eye, little icon there and make it go away. But sometimes, honestly, for me, I have to go through and like, okay, what's on this screen? Oh, let me take that away. What's this? Um, trying to find, say, if I'm trying to find this blue reflected light. I don't know what layer that's on, but I know it's going to be a screen layer probably. And there it is. Uh, actually, these days I'll do a, the add glow layer for it. But just keep in mind, you can organize these things. Also, if I was going to do a uh, hue over this, um, I would go up here, like I talked about, you can see a little bit better how it affects that. See there, now I pull it down. And it, it kind of makes it a little bit um, duller if I wanted to do that. Changes the color just a little bit in a way, unifies it. All right, so this is how this works in a real piece. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, specific problems, let me know in the comments below. Um, but those are the basics to get you started organizing and um, the basic layer settings for doing flats, highlights, shadows, and just a little bit of lighting effects. Hope that helps. Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. Be sure to hit subscribe and hit the bell to receive all notifications because just hitting subscribe doesn't mean anything.